This is Serenity Leisure's video for this 2020 uh, Swift Contiki 649. Just arrived with Serenity um, and currently for sale. Uh, this is the new shape one. So it's got the, well, I'll, I'll point it out when you see it on the back and internally it's different, quite different to previous Black Edition 649s. Um, it is uh, virtually unmarked. I couldn't find anything on the camper when I was walking around it earlier. Um, quite a striking motorhome. There's currently a waiting list on these now. I think they're 120 for a new one, if uh, plus any spec on it. Um, if not, probably a bit more by the time Swift to finish, I would have thought. So there's still a fairly decent sized garage on the side here. Um, we've got the big 5.5-meter um, two-lay awning. It's got an outside barbecue point on this side. Um, fill the water up on this side that's another big storage locker uh, like so the front end is unmarked nothing on it at all not even a chip I see that no it's not a chip it's a bit of fluff not even a chip to the bonnet 16 inch alloys uh, nice big side locker there that comes open and um, and what that comes open uh, loads of storage in there. Outside shower point on this side, uh, gas locker bottle storage and access again to that garage. So when I say about the new shape, I know it's a bit dark, but you can, it's not so much the lights, but it's the back end. It's got reversing sensors on it, by the way. Um, it's that bit there. It's difficult to see, I know. They completely restyled uh, the whole body for the Swift Contiki. Um, it's a little bit higher than its previous models. It's got the surround camera uh, system on it. It's still of smart build construction. Um, it's still obviously a tag axle motor. Uh, this is gorgeous. This is a really, really nice example. So we've dealt with Contiki's for years and years and years now, and they've just got better and better. There's one of your cameras up there quite a clever little device it sort of also comes on when you indicate to turn left so it looks down the camper um, down the back of the camper so you shouldn't go into the path of anybody who's only taking you for example right cab uh, this has got the five and a half grand option of automatic transmission which makes it very desirable navigation multimedia system Remis integrated blinds, front and side blinds, um, swivel seats, as you can see, twin swivel seats. This one comes around as well. Uh, cab air conditioning, um, reversing camera, I think I've already mentioned that. And then what you get with the Contiki is this rather large lounge. So forward facing and rear facing belted seats. This goes into a double bed if you want it to. Big lounge. We're two big lounges. And then um, the overhead cab bed here with its mood lighting. Uh, I won't pull it down because I said it needs two arms to do it. Um, but you can change the color of the lights, which is quite nice. No, but that one you can. Change it to blue if you don't like the orange. There you go. Uh, mood lighting, that's a big bed up there. USB charging points in here, it's a television point. Uh, and then going back through the motorhome, so a galley area with loads of room, full size oven, hobs, one electric. Nice little swift arty farty feature there. Arty farty. Uh, the latest with the control panel, all touch screen. Um, swift command, it's got a tracker, it's got Aldi heating which can all be controlled. For example, on here, you can turn the fridge on and off. You can, it's got its own radio integrated into this whole system, as opposed to the one on the front, so you wouldn't use that when you're stationary. You can turn, as I said, the, you can check your water and everything, your heating, you see? You just press that, get a manual, turn the electric on, turn the temperature up. You can do it all from there, even though that panel's right next to it. But the fridge and, yeah, everything does it all. It's very clever. Um, this is all pretty much spotless. Yeah, no indentations through the worktop, of course. 
there's look at all the drawer space it's huge one two three this 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 is massive this one great big drawer oh, i forgot to mention it's got habitation air conditioning dometic yes that's another option on it that'll be up there they don't come with any of this stuff when they're new, you see. It's all optional extras. That's a £2,200 extra because it's got to be a higher BTU. Uh, and then this great rear lounge. I quite like not having the back window in the lounge like with the other previous 649. It sort of makes it feel a bit cosier. You've still got these sort of big side windows here. But it's nice. I mean, you've still got the back window, but you've got to stand up to look out of it. I like it. Yeah, it's nice. Very, very popular, 649s. As I said, we've had many of them before, but uh, only one previous of these, uh, this new shape, so they are quite hard to get hold. There's a screen that comes across, separates this room uh, from the rest of the camper. There's a, a big wardrobe there with the extra cushions, the Aldi central heating, and the television aerial. Baskets down there for your whatever. A big fridge freezer, one of the new style ones. So it opens on two hinges you can open it either way same with the fridge another TV will sit up there uh, oh and the bathroom finally there we go so um, a separate shower a little seat in there that's all in lovely condition swivel seat electric flush toilet uh, integrated sink into the um, into the, and then a bull a big full-length mirror just while I step out of the way tower rack radiator which again works off the Aldi heating uh, interior definitely matches the outside it is um, pretty much pristine yeah lovely camper And with some nice specification on it that's not standard from the factory they, they do come with a lot of spec anyway this one just happens to have a lot more uh which have quite quite a lot of the more expensive specification as well okay that completes serenity ledger's video for this 2020 contiki 649